You do know what I mean by that, right? If I cannot prevent them from taking you... I understand. Good. Just don't let it come to that. Stay the fuck out of their way. Do you think you could? Don't pursue them, don't follow them. Would you believe me if I told you I spent my entire life avoiding them? My own kind. I mean, if it came to it. Well, you didn't think I'd be able to do it. I'm asking. The very thought of some other drow bitch doing terrible things to you in variety is worse than you being dead. It's never happened to you before. Being owned by someone. Becoming an appendage. Only there to attend them. I know when I told you what happened to me, I told you that poachers took me, they plucked me out when I came from the Underdark. But scars don't form in a couple months. Not scars like this. No. I was owned by a drow bitch. For a very long time. And when I started causing problems for her, as I do every place that I exist, she sold me to the surface. Mm. I tell people it was poachers, so they think that my first bout of being owned was up here. But no, that hate runs deep within me. And it has for many years. So, I'm going to go see if there's a drow down there, and if there is, I'm going to buy them and then free them. Just to piss off whoever it is that brought them <clears> here. <throat> you have 70 silver on you? Mm. Drow fetch a pretty, pretty price here. I guess we'll find out. Best of luck, then. I'll keep my head down. Thank you. You might want to um, run around as your friend more often. Yeah. Find me if you need to talk anymore. Sorry, I'm a bit busy. It's fine. I understand. See you tonight. Cerevith swishes away with a small flourish and the departing scent of something you've grown a little familiar to while around her. It's spider silk. Something that she always seems to wear or tries to wear if she can acquire it one way or the other. You know it's coveted by many drow, particularly from the Underdark. You consider her words of warning and all that you know about the various kinds of drow. You're more than familiar with being a half-breed and her caution about you passing in front of something like a drow from the Underdark. Well, in the gangs, they never quite seemed to care too much. Anyone with purple skin and white hair seems to meet enough of the definition to count you as such. You can only imagine, of course, what kind of xenophobia might run among the drow from the Underdark, however. And then there's the spider, or spiders. Some kind of matriarchs, enforcers, or agents. Cerevith seemed to talk about them in, well, a way that expresses one thing above all else. They are not to be fucked with. 
Then, of course, there's the Viper. <laughs> he seems like he's the exception to the rule. After seeing him in action, you can only wonder, how old is a person like that? How many tricks does someone like that know? You can only imagine that the Viper is the kind of person who goes what he wants, does what he wants, and fucks who he wants. You wonder for a moment whether or not the Viper could handle one of these spiders. No way to really know. Either way, it seems like there's danger around every corner in Nautis. Still is, one way or another. And the quest? The quest still remains. We press on. you could do something but the risk of it is great that's just about everything Taking a quick assessment of town, you can see that there are a few peasants here and there just trailing off to their jobs or going about their business. But you imagine that, given the announcement earlier, many people might still be at that slave auction. I had a nightmare, no more, no less. And he needs to be mm. Fucking hate him. The owner would wish for him. And Shriek. Okay. Them and try to sell as the third party here. And I have here Your blade helped me to storm a brigand on the road already today. Hey, look at you go. It appears from his long yeah. I wish it was more of an achievement. I don't think the guy even knew how to fight properly. Hmm. He was stunned by the craftsmanship. <laughs> the glimmering of the blade. Do I hear six stones? Six stones. Enjoy the slave auction. The longevity is none. Seven silver. God damn it, something fucking old.
Morgo. Quick question. Okay. You yeah. guys uh, yeah. sell flash powder by any chance? Uh, I don't have any in stock, but I would if I did. Hmm. If you get any stock, do you mind letting me know? Okay. Appreciate it. <clears throat> kind of a hot commodity <clears throat> now that uh, stone's hard to come by. Yeah, right. in peace fine and no scars to be seen now state your name if you don't mind <clears throat> yeah, my knees are like fucking bubble wrap. Okay, we gotta take a, a second here, chat. Let me know if anything happens.
I didn't miss anything, did I? Who are they looking for? Jonathan Wicker? I believe the name was. I have a feeling I already know who they are. I've never heard of them. <clears throat> I think it's the priest. Ah. Is he hidden? That I know of. I want to stash him somewhere. Like where? Do you have a basement or something? No. I don't. Hmm. Maybe get him just to leave town for a bit. Head to Belerno or something. The patrols on the streets. Wow, Last yeah. time I <clears throat> went out there. Really want this guy, huh? Not just him. They apparently have one more name, but they didn't want to disclose it for some reason. Uh. They just said gray of hair. Oh, uh, weird. Not yet. For the Gradian horse and start making us drag our own horse all the way tomorrow. I'll answer that. Actually, whatever it is. I bought a wish. Ah, it's the going guys are saying. I'm not used to the heat. We'll find that John Wickerman. We'll find him. He can't hide from us. Andy. Good day. Good day. He graves for you. Good job on the auction today, you all. Good job. Good job yourself. Hmm. It's kind of fucked up. It's a shame we didn't see you all there. Oh, a bit disappointing. I was uh, busy working. Oh, as always, you'll catch the next one. Did he really say good job to the slaves? <laughs> he walked past the group of them and no, said, I'm Good finished. job, everyone. <laughs> They like okay, so be disillusioned better off things. missing anyways. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, well, keep your head down and you know, look out.
on now, Guardsmen. With me. First, we must deliver this. Then we can escort them back. You okay, big guy? No one I knew was there. Hmm. So, could be worse, I suppose. And you? Yeah, I'm just hanging in there, I guess. If the bomb were there, I'd say we should grab a drink, but isn't so. It's a quiet day. We'll grab it another time, though. Do you need me for something, ma'am? He recently got a slave. He's a fighter of sorts. I will be bringing by some material to reforge things for his armor and weapon. I understand that supplies are still low, so I will provide older materials to help cover. Okay, well then, obviously, it would be uh, much cheaper for you then. You know. <laughs> Friend to discount see if there is anything that is left over. I certainly don't know if I would care for it. Understood. Thank you. Of course. And uh, I have the stable master of us getting the horses moved around. Yep. That's, yep, something that <laughs> he's going to have to, yep, okay. Don't worry. They're so big, and I, I saw them so kick someone in the thing. head once. They're like, oh. mm, that is why you train with a horse, right? Especially a war horse. <clears throat> yep, I'll <sighs> get right on that, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry. And on the bright side, if you cannot find a place to have it stay, the Carter's Guild is willing to lend a hand. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind, thank you. I should yeah, catch up with Vizzer and need to ask him something. But uh, yeah, send your guy around and we'll uh, have that sorted out. Don't forget your tent is ready for whenever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll let you know. Take care, Marcus. Oh. Yeah. There's. What did you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quick question. Skip this um, sure. I asked uh, Morgul. Mogul. Morphal. Morph. I asked Morph. Markle. That's the one. I asked him already, but I was curious <laughs> if yours was, if uh, you have different stock. Uh, flash powder. Do you have any in stock that I could buy? In stock, no, but I do have the stuff to make it. Is it urgent? Not super urgent. I could wait. You won't need it today? I hope not. <laughs> I'll cut you a deal. Come on. We'll right. go towards the total that I still yes. owe you. All right. <clears throat> Doing okay today? Sore. Didn't sleep well. 
I was anxious all night. Oh, really? Yes. Something on your mind? Ah, uh, just the elf I wanted <laughs> to see. say that. Hey, What's Morbius. Morbius? <laughs> I don't What's know. What's What? Did you just call me Morbius? No. Let me see. Okay. What do you need, Markle? Uh, I want to try <laughs> that thing again today. Uh, sure, we can do that. Let's see here. All right. So we need four food, which is 70 each, so that's 28, <coughs> plus wood, which is quite expensive right now, and that would be around 15, that would be 30, 60. All right. Here's 60 worth of materials. Four food, four of oh, stone. That's what you need. Hold on, let me make sure. Four wood, four stone. We'll knock, um... Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't do my math right. You need 30, 60 each. We'll knock a silver 20 off of what I owe you for all this, and you can just take it. Oh, I can just take it. Right. I'm not going to be, like, arrested or anything, am I? Oh, you caught me. Yeah, that's entrapment. I was going to call the guards after this. <laughs> I know my rights. Uh, no, I'm a sovereign guardian citizen. <laughs> you don't have any rights here. <laughs> Fuck Wait, you, are right. you really? No. <laughs> well, actually, I was born in Gradia, so... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyway. I mean, a certain I mean, person was born in Gradia. Actually, citizens of Gradia are the nobility, but... All right. <clears throat> Well, I'm still a sovereign citizen. Either so. way. So this is all enough to make one sense. flesh powder, is what you're telling me? This is all the ingredients? Yes. Fantastic, thank you. I'm just gonna put them cool. in here. <sighs> Alright. Take care, Vezran. Take care, Monopoly. Take care. <clears throat> I believe you. I, I saw the fight in the ring. You. There was blood everywhere. I could not tell what was person and what was part. But. You ever just like, you know, doing your own thing, just kind of walking around and you remember a funny joke? <laughs> I want to squeeze it in somewhere, but it's a hard one. <clears throat> Surely we see mitochondria again. You know, when I went to prison, they called me mitochondria. Because I was the powerhouse of the cell. That was actually the joke. Yeah, I said that joke a few streams ago, Minty, you are right, but no one fucking laughed, so I'm reusing it. <laughs> and I got the res I got the right reaction this time. <laughs> <laughs> what 
When I let me explain how this fucking works. When I make a joke, you guys laugh, all right? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll reuse it until you do laugh. <clears throat> I do apologize. Uh, another moment, if you will. Kyle are taking a quick appraisal of town and the surrounding area. It doesn't seem that you can find Faye. Your mind drifts back to a few moments ago. The slave auction. You consider, of course, that your father has been extremely adamant that you're going to need coin and a lot of it to attain your goals. Of course, the plan right now is to buy some kind of ship, and not just any ship. This is not a dinghy. You know it will need to be some kind of boat that is seaworthy in order to make any kind of trip to Astagon along the coast. You consider the alternative, of course. <laughs> Riding back through Ireland? No. There's no way you know that would work. Whatever has become of Eastern Ireland, you are almost assured is impassable. There's also Eshma. Then again, you can't imagine that unless it was just maybe you and a few others that you would ever sneak past the notorious elven border guard, much less make it through the interior of the country and all the way through. With only you and maybe four, five, or six, there would be no way that you would be able to do much of anything upon arrival in Astagon, even if you could make it through. No, you're going to need silver, and not just silver. You're going to need gold. Real money. And how to get it? <clears throat> Those slaves, of course. Slaves are worth a lot, quite a bit. It would only take selling a half dozen, maybe more, depending on what their value is. You could have a good amount of money. All it would take is just capturing the right people and selling them for the right amounts. Surely it's not any worse than peddling serenity, right? Desperate are we? So fucking bright. Just need a bit more money. I don't speak Elven either. Neither. I don't even know what that word means. The lodestone. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it loads to the next area of this place. There's actually, a, there's actually a naturally forming stone that's able to attract particular metals called magnetite. Hmm. Alright. It's also called lodestones. It also helps you locate meta gems. Load stones. No. I barely know stones. 
You want the metal yeah. shriek? <laughs> what? What? You you walked over here. Did you need to speak to one of us? Uh, it was. Or... <laughs> Maybe he's lonely. Maybe he just wants to talk. Ooh. Have you seen Venora? I saw her barreling off on a horse. Don't. On don't, a horse. Don't. On a horse. Yeah. Wait, what? That would have been interesting. <clears throat> she left town on a horse mm -hmm. with Ladia last time I saw. A pale rider on a pale horse. Huh? Uh, I see. Hmm. Um. At least it's better than leaving town on a boat. True. Well, I was I there mean, when they did that last time, actually. And bandits and stuff on the road. No. But there's also bandits in the water. They're called pirates, sweetie. Yeah. That. Yes, and I am aware of one of the sweetie? most intimidating groups. Of them. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> so vaguely condescending. You you're so on. cute when you're wrong. You know that. <laughs> Oh, you say that to all the bathhouse workers. You're not a... I know I'm no, not. That's what you say to them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> is that true? To Who told you that? This is not an open invitation to clean my helmet, Peter, no. About it. Maybe it's just something Was it Basil? to drow. I'll beat the shit out of him. No. <laughs> you see, I'm I'm applying to be a guard. You see, so I figured, <laughs> get You're one foot in the door and already become abusive. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Shriek? I want to be the guard captain. Oh shit! That's what I aspire to be. Now all you yeah. need to do is extort you people, be beat Once people. You apply, do you think you could give me an in? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, man, totally. I'll put in a good word with the Capitano. He loves me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can't believe you beat women. I don't I beat women. Oh, okay. That was the joke. <clears throat> All right. Hey, how hard well, do you think it would be if I was to become the new captain? That'd be cool. I don't I think anyone would. Captain. That would be really cool, actually. Can we have a fleet would you, of warforged? Would you do that, dogs? Tang? Ooh. Like, unironically? Sharik, if I was given the ability to move around a whole bunch of men, I think that I would either go mad with the amount of power that I was given, or oh. I'd be extremely depressed because nobody Never mind. listens no. to me. Mm. Nah, it's not a good <clears> idea. <throat> Never mind. Yeah, no, mad with power. Well, uh, Karak Capitano is pretty mad with power, so... Yeah. The mad with power thing was a joke. There's I'm no not being going mad to with do power that. around me. I could be happy with power. <laughs> Glad with power. <laughs> So, excited. excited with power. For the past hour and Aroused and with power. To a single word I said. That's a thing. People get off on that, don't see. they? What? People being, like, aroused with power. I mean, you're not wrong, but it's kind of weird to say it in yeah. that way, yeah? Just to have face. a power trip. You lick my face and I will throw you somewhere unpleasant. If you so much as throw PETA, you will be punished with the full power that I have access to. <sighs> if you so much as throw Shariq, I don't think I could do anything to stop you, so... You have a hammer. Good job, PETA. You I could mean, make my coffin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we, it's the anti-tang but I don't want to think of it that way what are we doing uh, conspiring in the woods like this what? we're not we're working on They're the working. fields yeah we're working we're not yeah I noticed there's a lot less I'm trees done. I just wanted to lay down for a bit yes not and bad. the fencing is starting to go up oh. yes I didn't take you as a fencing person. Maybe you could. Maybe more yes. of a Warhammer I user or. I build fences. I, I'm, I'm a fencing guy. Right. <clears throat> right.
right. I haven't seen you fence a day in your life. What do you mean you haven't seen me fence? My my stance is a fence's stance. What? Yeah. Show me. Yeah. Let's see. I know you have the Tyler, S stop. As you begin that, to but... take this stance and to wield your sword, you see out of the corner of your eye someone approaching from the field to the left. Oh shit. Put out the pipe weed, guys. What? what pipe weed? What? <clears throat> Where'd you get a stick? Find Sarah. Understood. do you know common dwarven and elven and i'm i have some knowledge and not bitch in like bjornin fuck you pure color blade what languages do i know These are the queen. This one first, and this one after, okay? Rinse between the both. Trick. Have you seen Sarah? I'm actually looking for her now. That's all I know. <laughs> just. Just the uh, one. You always throw a punch to the convenience. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> what do you need her for? She's hard to track down. Yeah. Well, I am beginning a contract with the bathhouse to protect <clears throat> their girls, and they want to know who I would trust to aid me in such things if called upon for it. You ready to fight the so guard? I'm seeking her. Because that's what you'd be doing. I don't think the guard is ready to fight me, Tariq. Fair enough. If they think that their lives are worth hitting girls over, then that's their problem. I'll well, happily take them. It's more about, you know, they're kind of immune to anything you do to them because they could just have you executed or whatever. Then I will die with god blood on my hands. That's pretty metal. I have a contract. Yeah, you'd be pretty imposing. We found, well, let's just say we saw one person that... I will make experience to somebody not to be harmed. Um, I just want to help him. Where the I'm fuck sure is she? not listen to reason. Yeah. Sounds quiet. We could check her house, I guess. She has a house. Well, yeah, she doesn't sleep in the street. Last I checked. No one does. Well, you know, she's flexible, adaptable. I praise. She has shown it time and time again. Would I be to deny it if it is true? Hmm. Let's look through the back streets. I will speak someone's praises if they have proven something. Do I get praises? Ooh. Of course. <clears throat> I'd say that you have earned your way to your blades. Oh, that is very kind of you. The kindness is 
less so kindness, but uh, more reasonable evaluation. I don't know. It's got me fucked. Well, I'm gonna do my thing. If you find her, let mm. her know that, you know, we're looking for her. Of course. I will be sure to do so. Take care. Sif. You will notice Sif is from the waist up purely blood. Like the only thing that isn't to her are fucking eyes. Yes? Uh, wood? How much do you need? Can't fucking find her. I looked everywhere. Then get your shit and go over to the dock. You got it. Don't break your ass. <clears throat> the armor slides on and you begin to collect your gear. You saw your father was very straightforward. Very determined. You know that the pieces are sliding into place now. It's only a matter of time. Once these moves are committed, they cannot be uncommitted. You consider what to take with you. Bruh. As soon as the fucking thing you've been waiting for all fucking day to happen happens, you fucking. <sighs> Sake. Fuck! <laughs> Changing. Oh, my fucking head. Hello? Lances. Uh, and I use secure and lock it in. No, but it does no good. You're right. There shouldn't be any issues. The worst yeah. thing we really have to worry about. That's what is, we do. Pikes. I don't know. That's Orc. smart. I like that. And then we're on horseback. So. Yeah. Hello again. Uh, bother us too much. Hello again. How you feeling? For sure. Mm-hmm. Why don't you take it next? I like his color scheme. Also because of some of our combat styles, prefer shortened pikes. <clears throat> Not bad. Ah, I wonder why. What's your uh, 
I guess preferred weaponry. Do you have a horse? Are you riding, bitch? I will be riding up on the cart. Bitch, then. Cart. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'm hiding bitch too. <laughs> well, he's been a halberd man, but I've taken to the Warhammer recently. Good choice of a weapon. Ooh, a Warhammer. Halberd two handed or one handed, my friend? So then. <laughs> uh, two handed, it's or upon my back. This elf. Do you anticipate him giving us trouble? We talk about it out of this city. <laughs> Too many years here. Uh, that one. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. That's good. Break it off. Break it Some called it. Very well. Because of the beat. Ah, shit. Yeah. Here we go. You're here, oh, my friend. I almost so. died. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I'm oh, sorry about that. Uh, you there. didn't see no, it on my back there's, before. There's it's the full plate. Oh, looking hmm. for you. Oh, by the gods. Is, is the chain better? Is that chain thing would put a knack on his now. ass any day, huh? <laughs> Alright! Foggy oh. sap! Mount up! Alright, oh. right, we're going on foot first. Boys, we have to go get the package. Mm. Alright. <sighs> we're on foot first. We're getting the package. On foot first. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> By your word. It's a quest that no one interferes. You're slow on if your someone mouth. tries to... ...kill them. Very well. Understood. 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 Best of luck. Thank you. Clearly, that an off did in order to kill if there was interference. Not exactly something you've heard me say quite often. Very recently, I've been sent on a pilgrimage, and I have much. Much to learn. As you talk, you can see that there is a veritable large party of people. <laughs> oh, I can buy that. I can buy oh, all that. Uh, it's usually in very large stock, though. Oh, like good. Like I can buy ten sanitizer at a time. The sound of shifting of plate by numerous people can be heard outside. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can <laughs> I help you? Good, sir. Good afternoon. Not right now, no. Move on. He's not here. Are you looking for somebody? It's... You overcome a challenge by yourself to prove to him that you can actually... In a moment, oh. Mr. Morgan. ...be worth it. I do? <laughs> sure. I'll see you later. Uh, sure, where are you off to? I'm not sure. Do you need assistance? Somewhere I'm guessing you're gonna need All some right. help. Yeah, everyone's dressed up. Mm. I need to talk. Ooh. Do you have the time? Alright. Shall I grab my equipment? Unnecessary. Alright, don't need anything. <laughs> That's the story, anyway. Oops. I'll see you soon.
good to know. So who are these men? Mercenaries I've hired to ensure everything goes smoothly as possible. And when you say that, what do you mean? I mean that we have to leave town and make sure nobody interferes with our leaving town. With everyone else armed and armored, shouldn't I also be? Presume? No. No, you should not. Because I have a feeling you wouldn't want to come. Let's just get this done easily. Get in the car, please. I am... Um... Well, sure that this is absolutely necessary. It should have been done a long time ago. I want two guards in the back, one in the front. Two mounted. I want both of you in the back as well. Do it quickly, get mounted up. Sir Brooker, you will follow in the rear. This man to your right I'm here will take good care of you. Right. Now get in. I have my net on the back. If I need. Good. I'll drive. You stay in the back. You're fine. All right, this doesn't have seats. Just get in this side. <laughs> <laughs> My two riders, I want you near the rear of the wagon to ensure nobody Restored. exits the wagon. If anyone tries to interfere, kill them. If anyone tries to stop us, kill them. What? You understand me? Yes, sir. You have flash powder for a reason. Use it to initiate breaking contact. If that fails, you have your orders. <sighs> Everyone's mounted up. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Over there. I'll come round. Greetings. Goes without saying, stop for nothing. Trust me, don't have to tell me twice.
Where are we headed? We're headed to the Eshma the last border. What are they offering you? What I need. Get ourselves staged at the base of the watchtower. We're not going to exit the carts nor the horses. We wait for our contact. Actually, scratch that. Too vulnerable. Bring us up to the watchtower. We'll move in there on foot. So leave the wagons and horses staged. <laughs> Bring us in. All right, men, we dismount and move up on foot. You heard him. Watchtower. No Look delay. Up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. Check your feet, Viz. What? Check your feet. Right. Left up here. Shariq? Hmm. Up to the tower to the left. Let's go. Sarah. Actually, no, not bad. Let's get up there. That one's destroyed. Let's check the other one. There's got to be a way up. I remember this place. There was a man up there before. There's another hill. We need to make sure that people. We're gonna have to work with what us. we got. Yeah. This is good. I'm gonna watch the road. Right.
Really? Let's fucking go. Yeah, the fucking timing, hey. <laughs> Soon as shit starts happening. <laughs> I'll do the mirror as soon as I can. Like he said, suggest you be comfortable. I'm all right to stand, thank you. And the other stand. Kyler, you hone in on this moment, focus, look around, not your first handoff like this. Many times the gangs 
would have deals something similar to this. This part was always the hardest, the most tense. When there's waiting, anything can happen. Especially if somebody gets tenacious.